Hello everyone, welcome to the new video and we are again back with some DevOps interview questions. So yeah, let's start. Suppose you have stored some data in S3. So sometime it is used frequently, sometime not. So how you will like what solution you will plan to keep that data so it is cost effective also and you don't have to make the changes again and again so you can answer that i will keep it in s3 intelligent tiering because intelligent tiering it will accordingly see if the data is frequently accessed it will move to s3 standard zone if it is not then it will move to a lower zone accordingly it will itself make the changes so it is cost effective too plus we don't have to do things manually next question is what are spot instance spot instances we do bidding so if uh, suppose uh, the instance has been given to us we bid it and we got the instance but if some other person bidded the same things and he has put higher price will get one notification that this instance will be uh, will be gone after some time you can take the backups and everything whatever are you doing after some time you lose the instance so that are what that is what spot, spot instances mean so there was one question that i uh, that was asked to me in my interview question and uh, uh, you know many people have commented the answer to uh, so if you have lost access key to one of your server then how will you regain the access so some people said that you can access it to aws session manager or you can uh, create uh, the new uh, ec2 server by taking the snapshot like from the snapshot we have to if we, we if we have created a backup we can create uh, a new ec2 instance from the snapshot and uh, third like what i want to say that if suppose uh, an ebs volume is attached uh, like there is a root volume which is attached so we have to stop the existing server whose access has been lost and then uh, detach that uh, volume create a temporary server and to that we have to um, you know attach that volume we have to keep the keys of those tempor of that temporary server to that EC2 server to that volume and again attach it to the uh, existing server whose keys uh, are lost and then we can access it uh, using the key of that temporary server so uh, this only regain uh, like you can gain the access you can uh, uh, actually access the EC2 server again so yeah uh, uh, next question is that while using git push command once it is executed it asks for a uh, username and password so it always asks for username and password but we have to avoid giving it again and again so basically you have to create a keys by using the command ssh hyphen keygen hyphen t rsa or whatever algorithm you want to follow hyphen base and then your hyphen c your whatever scm url uh, you have scm like your repository url then you have two keys will be created one public key and one private so you have to add public key in your scm uh, settings and then you will be you don't have to give the username and password again and again when you are doing git push uh, second, uh, next question is how to design a Jenkins pipeline to support multiple environments so uh, this question was also asked to me in a comment section so basically you have to uh, use parameterized pipeline where you have to give if like you have to take a input if environment is equal to equal to this then uh, we have to perform this steps else this step and you have to use uh, like multiple stages block in your i have uh, uh, explained this in one of my uh, video how to like create a pipeline uh, jenkins pipeline 
so you can refer that there i have mentioned that how can we uh, like write a pipeline script so yeah then uh, next question is how to secure sensitive credentials in jenkins pipeline so this is a question which can be asked so basically we can install a credential plugin in jenkins where we can store our sensitive data and then uh, after that we can access in our pipeline we have to access those credential using with credential parameter like key if we use with credentials we can access the uh, those uh, secrets that we have kept basically where we have to store the keys when we'll install this credential sorry this plugin then we have to go to manage jenkins there we will get the option for storing the credentials there we can store the our sensitive data our keys and while when the sensitive data is stored over there then uh, while writing the uh, our pipeline script we can access these credentials using uh, with credential block so i'll mention the syntax of with credential in the description section uh, i'll mention all the questions also over there so you can check that out also there is one of the question that uh, you know when jenkins pipeline gets stuck so what should we do to avoid this situation first of all we should add a timeout block in our pipeline script so that this situation doesn't arises if our after some time like whatever if a pipeline is not is not executing properly it gets stuck so after a certain time period it gets time out so yeah basically how will you integrate the uh, jenkins pipeline with docker so basically docker plugin we can install and then uh, we have to uh, or uh, we have to uh, mention in in the block of stage docker build hyphen t then how can we uh, integrate kubernetes Acc accordingly we have to install the plugin and then we can use kubectl apply hyphen f and our manifest file we can give so these are the ways how we can um, do how we will uh, integrate a doc uh, like jenkins with aws if we have to push the image in aws s3 so basically we uh, can uh, have aws cli plug like plugins basically we can we have to install and then we can use aws cli command to copy our image to the s3 bucket so aws uh, uh, c uh, copy like there will be a command so yeah th this is how you can explain to the interviewer so that's all for today's video and i'll list out every questions uh, in the description link so please check it out from there so uh, that's all for today's video uh, bye